what is up guys um this video is gonna be a bit different i just wanna you know uh for people having questions about what to use um in a lightsaber i i i wanted to start with switches because sometimes that can be hard uh i had a hard time in the beginning uh choosing uh, which one would would work the best for my setup and you know trial and error you you find the things you like you find the things you don't like um so we're gonna start off like with uh these 12 millimeter switches uh these are set up without led and i really like that because the led gives off like a uh i don't know a toy look uh sometimes if it's a very plain hilt you can do it in a more integrate integrate um but uh for basic installs like these are really really good i think i got these from ebay or etsy and you know momentary switches they don't click they just uh return to their position after you press it and i have uh, gold colored as well already wired up and these are my favorite these are um from an etsy seller uh momentary but they're short so they don't take up a lot of space especially if you have something like a saber forge with a smaller diameter than i don't know mhs sabers where these could um, easily fit but it's also better to go um, as little as possible, like uh, in sizes. So if you move on, we have with the uh, LEDs. So these can be set up with a, um, a Dyna Ohm uh, resistor. And remember to reverse that, like plus goes to the board, minus goes to the switch. If you're gonna do that, uh, or you can short the board. And that wouldn't be great. You can also get dummy buttons. This came with the Saber Forge to uh, block up any holes you have that you don't want um, because that can affect the sound. And you have these just uh, also with the uh, LED setup momentary. I don't have any latching for 12 millimeters, so I have them in. 16 they click and i have two momentary like this is set up with a dyna ohm i think this has a amber uh led it looks nice with a blue blade really really looks good and as you can see the 12 they just fit in a hilt really well and because these holes are recessed, that's actually a really good idea to get. You can have the option in most places to get a recessed hole for your switches. So it actually doesn't, you know, you don't really feel it. And you actually have to press it to activate. And it's kind of hard to, um, to make that happen on accident. So that's really good with these recessed holes. So yeah, for now, these are my favorite, like the short ones, but especially these. Um, not the greatest for activating log up on um, uh, set up for aux switch, but you can also always use something like something else for that. But these are just great. Low profile. And you actually have, it, you, you have to um, put some uh, force to it, push to it. So that's really, really good. So that's it. I just wanted to uh, make this short video. Just, you know, if you had any questions about what kind of switches to get, um, I would say this is a pretty good way to start off, like seeing the different options and, you know, hearing from someone who made a lot of mistakes along the way, uh, but really getting there.